Welcome back. Well, there is an idea of success, a traditional idea of success, and then a slightly offbeat idea of success. We have with us three IITians who fought family pressure and a fun crunch to uh, leave the academic field behind and become entrepreneurs, so to speak. Pradeep, Purvesh, and Kapil, welcome to the show. Uh, you know, when you get into IIT, I think that in itself is one level of success or achievement that you have, which obviously all three of you must have felt, uh, Pradeep. Yeah, definitely, you know, being in IIT, uh, was a great beginning for the career so i'm definitely very happy about you know getting into iit and then uh, you know while your course was going on the three of three of you obviously became friends and formed a company together yeah. but uh, did you ever think that okay you know you've got into iit and getting into sort of like an academic career further on a corporate job would also be successful or you had a very clear idea of you want to do your own thing uh, i would say i really wanted to um, do something special do something more than what everybody else was doing mm -hmm. and going into corporate world and doing the same things didn't occur very interesting though i started with that mm. so i thought maybe then starting my own company may be easier something not easier something more powerful so were you working for yourself that was an important factor for you uh no working for creating something big was an important factor, factor for you what about you kapil uh, I would say, uh, you know, before getting into IIT, even getting into IIT was something beyond success. Mm -hmm. And when I was there, the, my whole uh, set of friends changed. And the people whom I was competing with changed. My whole definition of success changed. So from being a, a person with high caliber, I become an average person. person. <laughs> and so now the, there was a different kind of struggle, a different meaning. And uh, so when I was in IIT, yeah, there was a, the, the success was defined as who will get into the best university after that, who will get into IIMs, and job was something like, okay, some people go for a job also. Also. So, and I was like one of the average kind of person in IIT, and uh, I, I wanted to like really compete with those people because that was the time, you know, I want to achieve that success because now those are the people I'm relating with yeah. and I've not been able to compete with them. So I decided, okay, now I have to do something different and uh, I get into a job and uh, luckily I get into a startup. There I get present to what, what's the new world of startup, what is available over there. So I work for a couple of startups for a few months and uh, just, it, it gives me a way, how can I actually- Start your own company. Start, or uh, how can I actually uh, uh, prove myself among my peer group at that time? And so, so that was a, what success was me for at that time and it comes naturally. It's not that, you know, I wanted to be an entrepreneur or something like that, that was pulling me up. I it was fact, a way to, to be successful among your peer. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And now when I'm in, I'm in business, uh, it's altogether a different ball game. So and it's now like success who is, is completely it's different. It's completely changed. It's like, I never used to think about money. Now it is about who is earning more revenue, <laughs> who is earning the maximum profit. So well, in now, business, I guess it's, it's easy to say that that would be a motivating factor. That would be a barometer for success. Absolutely. So that's in the game of business, money is a, uh, definitely a measure. But that wasn't and always the case. That, that, that was not the case. And if you meet me one year down the line, I don't know what I will say. <laughs> so yeah, the meaning is meaning kept on changing since, and I was listening to the people like, uh, I was not, I was very clear initially. In fact, uh, just to share one thing, uh, when we started our first business, uh, we made a f our first business plan in three days on how we will become the Infosys. Hmm. And uh, now we have started with the second venture and it's been one year. And right now I'm struggling on how to start to make a business plan. So things have become even more complicated than It was the easier when, when you weren't in business yeah, to start. I was much more clear at that time. Yeah. I mean, the clarity <laughs> now, has now, gone away. Now clear thinking has been clouded by, <laughs> by how we can make good money and how our... Uh, uh, how our break even can be faster and earlier. So it's complicating things, Absolutely. obviously. But, you know, like Kapil mentioned that when he got through to IIT, there was a sense of letdown in a way, you know, because you get through, it was beyond success, you achieve it, and then you realize that there's, there's way more to go and there's lots more to do. So it was kind of like, a, did Absolutely. you feel that as well? Yeah, Absolutely, you know, I, uh, I say that success is definitely not destiny. Mm -hmm. It's a journey. So at all points of time, your definition for success changes. Like for me at that point of time, definitely getting into IIT was a oh, wow, I got everything. Mm -hmm. Now starting a business was another thing, wow, I got everything. Now in second business, now the <laughs> again, back pattern to square has again one. changed. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always, you know, it's never ending. It's always a journey rather than a destiny. No, absolutely. And you mentioned journey. I think it's apt to take a look at your journey. Let's, let's see. 
an eventful journey for the three of you and you've even won uh, uh, from NASCOM the most innovative IT company of the year but I'll come back to you I'd like uh, to go to Arpita Anand at this point Arpita you know I think a very valid point was raised where you define success you achieve it and then there is a sense of letdown when I started my career being on a premier international channel was my ultimate aim and you know when a show of mine came on suddenly it wasn't that big a deal anymore you know and, and then you wanted something more and you said, oh, is this what I was aiming for? So somehow there is that sense of letdown and I kind of identify with it a little bit. Yeah, and I think one of the things that happens with that sense of letdown is sometimes people become overwhelmed with that because there's obviously no sense of satisfaction that comes along. And you say you've put in so much energy and so much hard work to get to that point and it's very short-lived. True. And I think it's really important for all of us to keep pausing every now and then and just enjoying that moment because obviously otherwise the whole journey can be so taxing and that's why now we're really looking and particularly at the corporate sector with issues like serious burnouts, chron chronic fatigue uh, syndromes and why is that happening? It's only happening because we're constantly pushing ourselves to achieve more and more and more mm -hmm. and while that's not a bad thing at all, there needs to be a plan in place, there needs to be an appropriate timeline for that. So if I decide that I want to be successful successful in six months after graduating, then of course I'm going to set myself up for failure. Mm -hmm. But if I give myself a good plan over a period of time, I'm likely to achieve it. So I think one of the things that becomes important is not only to just pause and actually celebrate when you uh, achieve the target, but also you know, maybe look back at your life and think of all the times when you felt successful. True. So it's not only about the point that you're at right now, uh, but you know maybe for all of you, when you're confronted with some you know real difficult target and you're struggling to achieve that and saying, oh, will I ever be successful? Mm -hmm. Saying, oh, I've been successful so many times in my life and look back at the time where I actually got in. What that does is just gives a lot of energy and enthusiasm to actually take that step Absolutely. forward. So the journey Absolutely. just becomes a bit easier. Absolutely, I think, I think that that positive Enforcement is very, very important, and it, and I'm sure all of us have done it, maybe subconsciously at some point. But, but you know, having Arpita say it, it kind of makes it easier. Saying, okay, if that happens, then this is what I need to do. <laughs> you were nodding your head. You obviously agree with that. Absolutely. You know, looking back, uh, recently we started our second venture, first venture in terms of you know the award we got from NASCOM, how we started our first uh, sale. That gives all the energy for going to forward. Do it from again here. and again and again. Yeah. Yeah. Though we may not have answers, you know how we will go forward. But looking back, that gives the energy and enthusiasm to go forward from here. Absolutely. Uh, for you, you know, uh, we were talking about failure. I mean, you know, Arpita mentioned it as well. That that just because this is a point that you've reached, or you feel that you're not able to get through, or you're not achieved your target, were these fears in your mind, or are they fears in your mind that you know what happens if I fail, or, or failures are something that looms large over your head? 